Well, a group of engineering students at Stony Point High School recently created a solar-powered car. And then they drove it all the way to the Texas Motor Speedway and then back here to Austin. Impressive. Pretty impre yeah, right? <laughs> well, this morning, KITV's Ashley Roberts is out checking out the new ride, and from the looks of it, it's pretty neat. Good morning, Erica. It is really neat. I'm so impressed by these high school students. And Kriti Swami, she's the president of the Stony Point High School Solar Challenge team. And tell us about this whole challenge. Y'all went to the Fort Worth area, showed this car off. What was this all about? Yeah, well, so we've actually had this car since 2005, and basically all of these cars from everywhere race it nationally here in Texas. So we actually took this in a trailer to the Texas Motor Speedway, drove around some laps for two days, and then we drove it back here to Austin. So how did you fare? Did y'all do pretty good? Uh, we, we did okay. We didn't uh, get any awards this year, but that's okay. We had loads of fun. That's what matters, and y'all learned a lot along the way. So as you're preparing this, what kind of stuff did you do? Uh, well, there's electrical, there's mechanical. You have to make sure that everything is working. Because this is roadworthy, we can drive this on the highway. We have to make sure the blinkers are working, the brakes are working. So there's a lot of engineering aspects that go into building this car. What did you work on specifically? Uh, well, I specifically worked on um, getting money for this whole thing. But um, this year, there was a lot of focus on getting the electrical stuff to work and buying new batteries for our car. And I do understand that you all had some challenges. We'll talk about that because they figured it all out. But if you kind of just check out this whole parking lot, this is the West uh, Pickle Research Center. And so today, we're going to be able to check out from, I believe it's 10 to noon, all of these cars from all over high schools from the Texas area. And of course, we're supporting the only one from the Central Texas area, or at least the Austin area, Stony High School. So, Stony Point High School, that is. So we're gonna talk to these students all morning long and better stay with us. Well, this is it right here, guys. El Tigre del Sol. And Lisa right here is gonna drive it for us this morning. Lisa, go ahead and take off. But I got Danook right here. He was the electrician for this. And again, tell us about this solar car challenge. It was actually a nationwide event. Yeah, um, there were tons of other teams, and uh, they had a much easier time than us getting their cars started and actually running. But uh, but here's the thing. You said y'all's was the fastest. You were booking it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you encountered some issues. What did y'all encounter along the way? Uh, well, at some points, our engine just wouldn't turn on or go, and uh, we had to rewire the entire car because uh, our taillights wouldn't work, and because of that, we couldn't run an entire day of the race. So Danook to the rescue, what exactly did you have to do? Uh, we had to, well, it was actually one of the other teams that gave us a relay, a flasher relay, and uh, we had to rewire the entire car in basically one morning. Wow. Y'all yeah. are so smart. How long did it take to prepare and, and do this? And you did it while y'all were in school at Stony Point High yes. School in Round Rock uh, during yeah. the school year. Um, I don't even know because uh, We'd come in on weekends and just work on the car. We didn't even get it running up until two weeks ago, basically, yeah. Wow. So today, can you kind of tell us about today, too? You have uh, other, your competitors here today at yeah. the West Pickle Research Center where, you know, the public can even come by and, and check this out and actually talk to you guys. Uh, yeah, you can definitely uh, come by and uh, the other teams will be out there, too. Their cars, of course, look a lot nicer than ours because ours haven't run in a couple of years. But uh yeah, um, we're, ours was the fastest in our class uh, as far as top speed and uh, average speed. but uh, And that's what it matters. <laughs> so, And y'all are the only ones here from Central Texas or the Austin area, so that's really neat, too. We're going to talk to more of the drivers coming up about their experience, so stay with us. I'm with Nick and Lisa. They actually got to drive this baby, and it is so cool. So you guys, tell me again about the Solar Car Challenge. Well, uh, it's a race around uh, Texas Motor Speedway and a uh, cross-country race from uh, the DFW area back to Austin. And um, it, the first two days are Texas Motor Speedway, the next two are cross-country. So you literally drove this on the road, kind of back and forth. You'd put it on a trailer, then on the ground yeah, to like, Fort Worth. You know, trailering it over hills and stuff like that. But, you know, the rest of the time we were cruising. Because the winner was the people with the most miles, right? Is exactly. that how it worked? Yeah, yeah. The, the more laps you got at Texas Motor Speedway, the more miles and so on and so forth. Okay, well, you were both drivers. Lisa, tell us what the experience was like. What is it like to be in this baby? Um, it's really fun. Like, there's a lot of, you can feel the wind and everything. Because even though it's hot outside, it's not really hot. Because you can feel the wind on you. And it was really fun. Nick, how about for you? It seems like it was just a blast seeing you guys 
ride this around is really cool. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, it, it's really cool to be sitting in there and just feeling that motor behind you just buzzing away, and it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it feels a lot faster than it really is. Well, what I'm so impressed with is you all are high school students, and you repaired this. This has been going on for years. What did you have to do to prepare for this solar car challenge? Uh, <laughs> we kind of came in ill prepared. I mean, it had passed scrutineering for the past couple of years, so we weren't worried about it. But when we got there, we found out that they had changed scrutineering and uh, that, you know, we had to basically rebuild the car. Very cool. We through the first day, so that was hard. But they would have won. They said this baby is so fast. And hey, if you want to talk to these guys, you can come out to the West Pickle Research Center today. All of the students that were involved, other high schools, are here from 10 to noon. And we'll have all this information on our website, KITV.com. Back to you guys. All right. Very cool. I like how they say that. Yeah, we just went for it. We were prepared. We're, just, <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. All awesome. right.